Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nibirium show. The first the third episode in the history of Nibirium show. Today is gaming news day. The first gaming news is about Scorpio. Project Scorpio specs revealed. Um as you can see there were only specs revealed, no software, no anything. A lot of spec, good specs, 4K, blah blah blah, native 60 FPS everywhere in gaming, in video watching. All the teraflops, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Memory for days, you see, 20, 12 gigabytes of it. Very fast memory, also. Hard drive, one terabyte, which is okay, probably. Unless games will be like 500 gigabytes, which who knows by that point. But, but, there is a big but. We still don't know the main thing the pricing and the software. What's the launch lineup going to be? I don't know. What's the price going to be? I know a, a lot of rumors about the price, but we can't really. What's the point in saying that? Um, I get that the I get that it was just a spec review, and we will get more details during the upcoming E3. Uh, but so far, in my opinion, this is all just information that is useless for Microsoft, honestly, because uh, they are losing because of the games, because of the message, because of the exclusives. So specs will not really win over market. Unless they will be the only console in the market, obviously. But Sony probably has a, an answer. Uh, maybe they wanted just to get the specs out of the way. So during E3, they will not need to spread this information and spend time on it during the press conferences, during the interviews. So you already know all this. While Sony, if they will announce something, they will still need to talk about the specs. So Microsoft could have an upper hand in this. I'm not sure though. It's probably a good sign that it happened because Microsoft needs to talk about games, 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 games. But you never know. Specs are good, but without the price and without the games, it's just it's just a box with the hardware. I'm not sure it's really that important. But so far it's okay. Just the right specs. I mean it's 4K. If it will be 4K and 60 FPS for every game, and it will be stable, then it's probably top, because nobody has uh, 8K TVs, 6K TVs. So 4K, 60 FPS is a max. It's probably top, top shelf you can reach right now. Um, so it, if it will be stable, it will be native, and it will be 4K, it will be 60 FPS. Okay, good. Let's move on. The next topic and the last one. And in the main one is that the Gearbox hit with backlash for partnering with controversial game key seller G2A. And they ended this partnership by the time I'm recording this. Um, so at some point recently Gearbox decided that they are going to partner with G2A to sell collector's edition of newly really of newly of newly released game Bulletstorm Remaster, whatever it's called, Redux re 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 release remaster updated version edition and if you paid any attention whatsoever for to the internet ever you'd probably know that G2A sell cheap stolen games keys for games uh, from either stolen or refunded credit cards accounts or something like that which is a very shady a very controversial you know business model um, I mean it's 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 exist it's kind of legal it's in a sh gray territory but the god almighty of all PC games, frames per second king, Total Biscuit himself pointed this out and said that he will not buy any Gearbox games and will not support them if they will continue to have partnership with G2A. And shit hit the fan at this point, right after, uh, right after that. Uh, you can get all the information from the Total Biscuit video, so I'm gonna just quickly recap about it. Um, Gearbox contacted Total Biscuit. His, he replied. He provided evidence. Even though you could just Google G2A and search for news about them, then that's what all you needed to do. So he and Gearbox, after all that, decided to not continue their partnership with G2A, uh, which is the right choice, which is the right way to do business. But what the hell were you thinking before that? Why you wait for someone to point your mistakes out? You're a big company. You should understand you should search for information you should learn what company you're gonna you're gonna do business with it's all just 
I mean, it's a right decision that they ended their partnership, but there shouldn't have been partnership to begin with. GTA is a scum and shady, and you shouldn't promote and help them and, and partner with them. And honestly, just don't buy anything there. There are some uh, good green keys, you know, legal keys, when people just have extra key and they just sell it there. There's been proven cases that when it's when there are huge, huge waves of key, of keys that are stolen and developers don't get any money from them. Just remember the context when you ever will try to buy or sell keys from G2A. Because if you will stumble upon this website and rediscover it again, you will remember that it's bad. And then you will just not do any shit with them. Let's see, we'll see if anyone will ever partner with G2A. Hopefully not. But it's it's the hit in the right direction because because the future companies that will want to do business with GTA they will see that oh Gearbox decided not to do that why and they will learn about the story and like whoa 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 but again it's very easy to find this sort of news uh, about GTA it's not hard it's all there anyway that's it for today not many gaming news but we got all the important ones.